everybody i am back on an assignment and i am going to be obedient <laughs> um so here we go so i uh not too long ago watched a movie called jesus revolution and if you have not watched that movie before yet you should definitely do so um i think it's on netflix but netflix is kind of on some demonic type time now um but I think it's on there and probably on like other streaming sources that you can watch it on and stuff. But it's such a powerful, powerful movie. And I understand why the Lord wants me to speak on this. So um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, this movie is definitely based on a true story. So if you want to go search it up for yourself, you definitely can um, do so. So basically this movie is about a group of kids, um, like teenagers, young adults, stuff like that. And they are out trying to search for anything that can bring them peace and happiness. And this is around the hippie era time. So, um, but yes, this is around the hippie era time. And it's just about them really trying to find anything that can just bring them happiness and peace and joy. Like, you know, so tired of doing school, so tired of doing this and that. Like they want to just find that comfort and something that can help them with that. So they started to do a whole rack of different drugs, acid, shrooms, weed, um, stuff like that. A whole, a lot of stuff to help them feel that goodness um, that they've been searching for, that happiness that they've been searching for. Um, but it came to a point in time. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to spoil it so much, but the Lord wants me to speak on this sp specific thing. Um, so they were uh, in the middle of doing drugs and stuff like that um, at somebody's house in a garage or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And one of the girl's sister had happened to fall on the floor and started to like foam at the mouth from the drugs. And they were all very, very intoxicated. So they did not... Um, realize what was happening until like a little like like a delayed re reflex but the uh, sister caught on and saw what was happening even though she was still intoxicated but she was still like oh my gosh like what is happening so she went to go try to help her sister um she didn't know what to do she was panicking screaming crying she did not know what to do at all um the other young man that he was so intoxicated he was like in his own little world um, while being on the drugs but then he stepped into reality and saw that what was going on and he pulled her to her, put her on her side and she was able to cough out and film out all the stuff that was happening and she was um, fine after that but that scared the sister so much to the point that she was like I cannot do these drugs anymore I cannot go through this anymore this is not helping us this is making us worse and I really think that that goes into play. And speaking for myself, um, I know it's probably a lot of people that feels like this, but speaking for myself, I used to smoke weed. Um, I tried shrooms. Um, I was trying all these things. Like I was smoking weed for my anxiety. I was smoking weed on trying to cope with breakups. I was trying to smoke weed or just really just trying to find that happiness that I was trying to find. Um, other than seeking Jesus himself and of course those things did not help me and I found Jesus myself but in this movie after the sister saw that her sister basically almost died right in front of her eyes from doing drugs and stuff that really was not helping them at all she went out to go find something that could help her and she found Jesus. She found a community of people that follow Jesus Christ. And um, we're trying to get a lot of young adults to come and find that peace with him as well. Instead of trying to find peace in drugs. Trying to find peace in other things. Um, like maybe sex too. Like other things that can be very addictive. That's what this group of young adults were trying to do. Um, so yeah. Like, this, this movie was very, very powerful. Um, it really shows me how it's a lot of young adults right now that are seeking the Lord so strong and so hard. And as my duty, as a vessel, 
um, and as somebody that's supposed to be spreading the gospel, that's exactly what I will be doing. I'm only 23 years old. I have been raised up in the church, but the church has not been a true home to me. And at the end of the day, we are the church. Definitely, if you can find a church home that um, is good for you. If you can't, it's okay. If you can't right now, it's okay. Just seek the Lord for yourself. But I really strongly, strongly, strongly want to say that this generation, we are rising up people to seek the Lord more than ever. And this is our duty to rise up and help people seek the Lord more than ever and save as many souls as we can because time is running short, y'all. And this movie shows a lot on how the young adults really came together as a community to help each other get off of the drugs, to help each other seek the Lord together. This was young adults in the freaking river and this was in Cali, uh, if I'm not mistaken i might i might be wrong but I, I believe the it was in cali the original where this true story is from um it was in cali and they were baptizing people in the ocean baptizing people in the river like this is what we need to be doing this is how we should be saving people so we should not be bashing people for what they're doing because a lot of people don't know what they're doing a lot of people don't understand that these drugs are not getting them the peace that they need at all whatsoever if you have to keep on going to something that is not of the Lord um, as a drug, a sex, uh, whatever the case may be, to get you that peace. But you have to keep on doing it. It's not really bringing you peace. It's feeding on to you to make you to keep on wanting to go back to it. Oh, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak to me. I'm not trying to preach to y'all right now. I'm not a preacher. <laughs> I'm not a preacher at all. I'm actually a prophetic worshiper. I'm a singer, uh, a dancer, all that stuff, okay? Um, but I'm coming on here to be obedient and do what the Lord wants me to do. We as young adults need to save the souls, okay, of everybody in this world. I know there's a lot of people that is probably suffering from addiction, that is, that is probably suffering from drugs right now. And I advise you to watch Jesus Revolution or most definitely pray to the Lord about it, okay? He, I had to pray to the Lord about my weed addiction that I had. Um, I just tried to find other things as an outlet, drinking as well. I forgot to add that I was smoking and drinking a lot. Um, I had to pray to him really hard and ask him to like just remove this out of my body, Lord. I'm so tired of feeling this way. Even every time I pick up a joint to smoke, I'm still feeling depressed. I'm still feeling anxiety. I'm still having panic attacks. I'm still feeling like I want to kill myself. No drugs should be doing that. Nothing that's supposed to be helping you. Nothing like a, a, a medical marijuana that's supposed to be helping you with these things should still be having you feel this type of way. No anxiety pills should still, I was on anxiety pills as well. No anxiety or de antidepressant pills should be making you feel this way. Okay? It is not of God. It's the tactics of the enemy. And I'm just spitting facts to you right now. Uh, because I know a lot of people really do not know this information. Please watch Jesus Revolution. It is such a powerful movie. Like, it really touched my heart. Even if you don't believe in Jesus, you don't believe in God, I still think that this movie can definitely touch your heart a lot. It opened my eyes to a lot because I did not even know that anything like that was happening in the hippie era. Like, I always thought it was just about them, like, just doing drugs and stuff. I really, or all about peace and stuff, but they were trying to find peace and drugs. I think that basically basically what it was but i never saw the true in depth of this story i didn't know that this was based on a true story and the people are still living to this day still praising the lord still um doing baptism baptisms in the ocean and still um bringing the young adults into uh knowing jesus and everything like it's so 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 powerful such a powerful movie i think i'm actually about to go watch it again tonight <laughs> honestly um but yeah just don't let the love love sh what? Just know that the Lord loves you and it does not matter what you have done in this world. It does not matter what sinning you have done. Just go to him about everything. Pray to him about everything and ask him to help you. Genuinely ask him to help you. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ, tell him to show himself to you, to prove that he is real to you. And he will. Ask and you shall receive. Remember that okay <laughs> y'all have a wonderful evening um or morning whatever the case may be just have a wonderful day and stay blessed and i pray for everyone and i love everybody see you